Almighty Jesus, we say hallelujah, hallelujah, oh hallelujah, we lift you high, mighty Jesus, with your hands lifted high, we say hallelujah, Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. We lift you higher. Much Jesus. We say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, we lift you high, mighty Jesus, come on somebody just put your hands together for the king of glory, come on somebody you can do better than that, come on somebody, you can do better than that, come on somebody, come on somebody, make some noise in the house, hallelujah. Come on, somebody shout, Jesus, Jesus, shout yes. I want you to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, my miracle is already here. Right in this place. My miracle is already here. Right in this place. Now I want to tell you in the Ugandan way, say, neighbor, Chamangero change chiri wangu. Chamangero change chiri wanu. One more time. Chamangero change chiri wanu. Hallelujah. Come on, just smile at the neighbor and welcome them in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Just welcome them in the house of the Lord. Cover me, my Lord. Oh, come for me, my Lord. Oh, come for me, my Lord. Under your shelter, I say, come for me, my Lord. Oh, come for me, my Lord. Oh, cover me, my Lord. And I, oh, hey, cover me, God. Hey, cover me, Lord. Hey, cover me, Lord. Cover me, Lord. Lord, right under your shelter. Hey, cover me, Lord. Cover me. Hey, cover me, Lord. Cover me, Lord. Hey, cover me, Lord. Cover me, Lord. Lord, right under your shelter. Hey, cover me, Lord. Cover me, Lord. Hey, cover me, Lord. Come for me, Lord. Come for me, Lord. Come for me, Lord. Come for me, Lord. Right under your shelter. Hey, come for me, Lord. Come for me, Lord. Hey, come for me, Lord. Come for me. Come for me. Come for me, Lord. Come for me. Hey, right under your shelter. Let's go, everybody. Let's go. One, two, three. Go. Are you chugu chugu? Chugu chugu. Bosa, 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 bosa. Hey, hey, hey. Ah, yeah. One, two, 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 two. One, two, three. Let's go. With the chugu chugu, chugu chugu, chugu chugu. Hey, hey, hey. Timon, no, 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 
Dimon Londo. Let's go, let's go, let's go. One, two, three, go. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, shoot, shoot. Ha, yeah, two. Amen, 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 amen. Say amen, amen. Say amen, amen. 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 Amen, amen, amen. Say, amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen. Say, amen, amen. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Like this. Let's go. Chuk, 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 chuk. Yeah, chuk. Shiga, shiga, shiga. As move, as move, as move, as move. Show no party, I will watch, I will watch. Ha, he, 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 he. Now I want you to I want you to sing to your neighbor. Amen, 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 amen. Come on, sing it to your neighbor. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, amen, One more time. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you blessed today? Just clap your hands for Jesus if you are blessed. Can I see somebody celebrating in the house? Yeah, you can do better than that for Jesus. Thank you. Just give a high five to your neighbor. Tell them you look handsome, you look beautiful. And be ready today. Because something is about to happen. Hallelujah. Are we blessed? Are we blessed? Okay, in the next few minutes, I just want to... Just teach you one or two things that my father has taught me to teach you. Uh, that is going to bless your lives. Amen. Praise God. Amen. That is going to bless and change somebody's life. Amen. I want to show you something in the scriptures about believing in the man that God has sent for you. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Believing in the man that God has sent for you. Amen. Take a seat for just some few minutes and get your Bibles, your pens and your papers or your notebooks. Please, if, you're, if you don't have a Bible, please go to somebody who is a believer. I believe some of you are not yet Christians. Yeah. We only know Christians by carrying Bibles. Yes. Let me see your Bible. Just lift up your Bible. Say, this is my Bible. Please, not your phone. Not your phone. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Your Bible. Let me see your Bible. Say, this is my Bible. Whatever is written in it, I will become... And I am, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, look at your neighbor. Do they have a Bible? They don't have, right? Tell them, please come near. I'm a believer. You need to be born again. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, look at this. Open your Bibles to the book of John, chapter number 5. I want somebody to read it so fast and quick because I've got only 10 minutes. 
Okay, by quoting, you discover that in the book of John, chapter number 5, the Bible says there was a man beside the pool of Bethsaida, right? And this man has been sick for 38 years. The Bible says the man was impotent. There were also many people around there who were also what, are sick. Praise God. And those people there, they were waiting for the stirring of the waters. That at a certain time, the angel of the Lord will come and stir up the water. After stirring up the water, the first person who enter into the water, the Bible says is healed. But all these people who were around there, all of them were waiting for the angel to come. But when Jesus came at a certain time, now you need to understand that God operates in principles. And the first principle of God when he wants to bless a man is either sends an angel. We discover that in the old times, we saw that in the times of Moses, God could appear himself. The Bible says to other prophets, he could speak to them via dreams. But we serve and the prophet, he was speaking to him by what face to face, which was Moses. So you discover that the time of God passed. And we came into the time of Jesus Christ. Where he was alive, he died for us and he rose again. Right now, he's seated at the right hand side of the Father. Now, don't forget that also in the times of God, God was able to send prophets. Now, we are looking at prophet Moses. We are looking at Miriam, who was the sister to, uh, what, to Moses. We are looking at Jeremiah. We are looking at Ezekiel. Now, all these prophets that God was sending, he was giving them a mandate. He was giving them something that they were carrying inside that they, when they meet to the certain kind of people that God has sent them to, they will deliver that which God has put inside them. Are you getting me here? So Jesus passed, God passed, and now we are in the times of the Holy Spirit. Whereby we cannot see the Holy Spirit, but we can see the move of the Spirit of God. We can see the power of the Holy Spirit. We can see people being healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. We can see deliverance taking place by the power of the Holy Spirit. But can I tell you something? The Holy Spirit will never move until there is a man that is operating in. Oh, I didn't... I think there's nobody here with me. Uh, am I in Holy Ghost Embassy here? Uh, okay, let me tell you now. Listen, the Bible says even God himself, in the book of Amos 3 verse 3, he said, for two cannot work together until they agree. When it comes to verse 7, the Bible says, for God will never do anything on the face of the earth. Even if the Holy Spirit is there, except he reveals his secrets to his servant, the prophet, God will never give you money, but he will send somebody in a form of a man to give you money. God will never prosper you, but he will send somebody in a form of a man to take you to another level. Oh, come by now. Ah, hey, 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 hey. Am I in church today? Listen, God will never come down. His time has already come, and it has gone. Jesus already came, and it has gone. We are in the time of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit needs a media, which is in a form of a man, for him to reach a man. Listen, in the book of Chronicles. Oh, can I, can I, can I tell you? Can I tell you the secret? Listen, in the book of Chronicles, the Bible says, believe in God and you shall be established. And believe in the prophet and you shall prosper. I thought God can make somebody prosper. Ah, ah, ah. I thought God can make somebody prosper. Uh. Listen, prosperity does not come by God. It comes through a man. Ah, I wish I was in KZN. They would do better than this. Listen, prosperity will never come through anything else except a man that God sends to you. The Bible says, and he comes to Jeremiah and says, Jeremiah, what do you see? He says, I see an almond tree. And he says, you have seen well. For I'll never sleep nor slumber until I see my word come to pass. He tells Jeremiah, say, Jeremiah, from today forth, I've put my word in your mouth. Even the priest and the king, they'll fight against you. They will not prosper, neither prevail against you. Why? I have put what I want you to carry inside you. He comes to Ezekiel and says, tells Ezekiel, say, Ezekiel, go and prophesy to my people. He says, Father, I am just a small guy. I don't even know how to speak. And he says, get this scroll. Eat. And the Bible says, and Ezekiel got the scroll and ate it. And it tasted like honey. Listen, being given a scroll to eat just to go and speak to a man. Not God himself coming down. Listen, God is too big for him to come on earth. But he sends a man who is able to represent him on the face of the earth. And in this church we have got only one man. That's prophet Didi Isaac. 
Listen to me. God has sent him to come and change your life. He has sent him to change your destiny. He has sent him to push you into your prosperity. To push you into your success. If you are still waiting on God, I'm sorry for you. God's time already passed. We are in the times of men. We are in the times where God manifests in the form of a man. The Bible says, and Jesus Christ humbled himself and took upon himself the body of a servant. I thought God was going to come down and deliver people. Look at this. He visits Moses and tells Moses, say, Moses, I'm about to come down to deliver my people. I thought he was going to leave heaven and come down. But he comes to Moses again and says, Moses, go, come, come, come. Go to my people. I am sending you. Oh, you didn't see that one. You didn't see it. He says, I've seen the affliction of my people. For I have come down to deliver them. I thought he was going to leave his throne. I thought he was going to leave everything around him. And come down from heaven to earth. And begin to deliver his people and say, my son, go this side. I'm going to prosper you. Uh -huh. You know, I've read the New Testament. I've not seen anywhere where the Bible says, and God will give you money. Mm -mm. And say, God will prosper you. Ah, no. He only sends a man. He only sends a man. That's the reason why some of us who are working, we go for work. After working at the end of the day, we're receiving a salary, right? Is it God who gives you that money? No, it's your company. Your boss will call you to the office. Some of them, they will deposit your money into your account. Why? Amen. The men sick for 38 years beside the poor besider. Jesus comes in. He does not even recognize Jesus. And he says, for there is no man to put me into the water. There is no man to put me into the water when the water is teared up. I thought Jesus Christ was going to get the man and put him in the water. Do you know what he says? He says, eh -eh, my brother, rise up and walk. Just like that. Just like that. Every man that God has brought for you, they carry something inside them that is able to change your life. They carry prosperity inside them. They carry success inside them. They carry increase inside them. Look at Jonah. Even if Jonah was running away, he still had something inside him. Jonah even caused a boat about to sink. People lost their businesses in the boat where Jonah was. They never knew to say Jonah carries the prosperity of those people. Until men realize the men that is in front of them, they will never see prosperity. Some of us, we just come to church to see a man. Listen, you are not here to see a man. You are here to see somebody that God has brought for you. We will never see God with our physical eyes. But he manifests through people. He manifests through men. Treasure the people that are around you because you don't know who is them. Even right now, if I tell you, ask your neighbor what they are doing. You hear them, they are, having, they are owing companies. They are running big business. You are just like that. So when you connect yourself to that man, you discover that something good will come out of it. Are you getting me here? Something good will come out of it. I want you to rise up on your feet as our father is coming in. The man that God has sent for us. The man that is here to deliver us. The man that is here to change our lives. The man that is here to take us to another level. The man that is here to lead us into prosperity. And his name is Prophet Didi Isaac. Clap your hands and you can do better than that. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you, Prophet. Put our two hands for Jesus. Continue clapping hands. Lift up your hands and shout, Jesus. In these 40 days, touch me like never before. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare my life will never be the same again. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and declare that my financial position will metamorphose in the name of Jesus. 
Come on, turn around to somebody and give them a high five and tell them, you are welcome in the presence of God. You look so nice. It's good to see you tonight. 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 I believe that God is about to do something to somebody and somebody is about to enter, is about to shift in another dimension. If you are ready, shout amen. amen. Lift your hands and shout amen. amen. Take your seats in the heavenly places. And once again, I would love to invite, to welcome you to our midweek service. And I believe that you are going to be blessed if you are watching us on Facebook. Stay tuned to this telecast because God is going to bless you. Turn your situation into testimonies. All what you need is faith. If you can believe, you shall speak to that mountain. And that mountain shall be leveled. So I believe as I minister to you, as the Lord has sent me with a prophetic word, not for a lot of people, for one person, I believe you are among them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So today we are going to start a series of teachings and uh, uh, it's going to take some time. Praise God. So today I'll be teaching about types of faith. Types of faith. We're going to go direct to the scriptures and uh, break some revelations, some insights. Some insights. On what the word of God says concerning faith. Praise God. So I would love you to write whatever God will be speaking to you. I love you to write whatever God is speaking to you. And before, before I start teaching, I love people to move. So that uh, I can have order. Please. My God. La Susha. La no su. La Shadi Susha. And you. Everything to me. I just want to praise you. Leave my hands and say, I love you. You why everything to me. And I Exalt your holy name, and I, and I exalt your holy name. Ah, come on, lift up your hands. Exalt your home, and I, and I exalt your home. Lead exalt your whole and I and I and I come on and I exalt your whole lead ah, exalt your whole. Exalt your holy name. Ah, Hena, 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 Exalt your holy name. Oh, my Jesus. Exalt your holy name. Oh, Hena. Come on, just pray in tongues. Release yourself. Release yourself in the spirit. Pray, pray, pray. That's 
exalt your name. And I exalt your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Release yourself in the spirit. Speak in tongues right now. Sing unto him a new song. Oh, no, no, no. You are missing something, you people. Lift your hands and pray. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Release yourself in the spirit. Whenever a prophet has told you to release yourself, there's something big that is about to happen. Lift up your hands wherever you are. Lift your hands. I said lift your hands and lift your voice. Pray. Pray. Pray in tongues. Just release yourself. Enjoy the spirit of God. Enjoy the presence of God. Enjoy. Enjoy his sweet praises. Oh, Oh Jesus, you are sweeter than honey. You are sweeter than anything, God. Lift up your hands once again. Lift them higher. Lift them higher. Enjoy his praises. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Pastor, enjoy it. Enjoy, enjoy it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Speaking in tongues is the opening up of the mouth. It's to pass yourself in the spirit. Don't hold yourself. Don't hold yourself. Don't hold yourself. God wants to hear your voice. Hey, hey, hey. Don't hold yourself. Ratakosopa.
say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Shout it, say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Speak to me in Jesus' name. Amen. Put up two hands for Jesus. Put up two hands for Jesus. Continue clapping. I said, continue clapping. Continue clapping. If it was Liverpool winning, you would have jumped. You would have screamed. God is more than Liverpool. More than Manchester. Hallelujah. Worship team, may God bless you. Thank you so much for blessing us. Put up your hands for the worship team. Hallelujah. I've just uh, embarked on uh, my 40 days prayer and fasting. And uh, sons that are spiritual, it is up to you to to follow the steps of your father. Praise God. So, there's something that I want to see. I'm not fasting for, for me to have money. I'm fasting to know God more. Amen. That's what I'm fasting for. Hallelujah. So, join me if you want to join. If you can manage. So, most of the time, some of you, you might not see me. Especially you, my members. You might not see me. But that does not mean you should not come to church. Hallelujah. That does not mean you should not come to church. In fact, Whenever the prophet is in prayer and fasting, the church members must join also. Hallelujah. Every year, God takes me through a process. A process where he teaches me new things. He controls me. He tells me, this is what you are going to do. And uh, there are most prophets who are prophets. But it's another thing to acquire the life of a prophet. And the life of a prophet is not just about ministering to you every day. It's very painful. Very demanding. And it takes the grace of God. Praise God. So I personally believe that uh, as I'm in this fasting, he will pray for me. He will pray for me. Even two hours, even one second. It will be important. Praise God. So I'm going to be breaking, I think, uh, Next month. Next month. On the second second week. Second week. I'll be breaking. I'm fasting. So yeah, all this month. I'm in my fasting. Till the second week. Praise God. Let's go to the word of God. Let's look at what God is saying. I cried bitterly today. I cried bitterly. Not that I was hurt. But the visions that God showed me, they were just too amazing. They were too
to our knees. Let's go to the book of Romans chapter 4 verse 18 to 22. chapter 4 verse 18 to 22 we are going to read on top of our voices are you ready are you ready are you ready verse number 18 one two three go who against her believed in her that he might become the father of many nations according to to that which was spoken, so thy seed be. Verse number 19. And being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body now dead, when he was about a hundred years old, never yet the deadness of, the, of Sarah's womb. Verse 20. He staggered not at the promises of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith giving glory to God I want us to read verse 19 together one two three go and being not weak in faith he considered not his own body now not dead when he was about 100 years old never yet the deadness of Sarah's womb praise God verse number 18 the Bible says who against hope believed? Remember that when we talk about hope, we are talking about tomorrow. When we talk about hope, we are talking about tomorrow. So the Bible says that who against hope believed in hope, believed in hope, that he might become the father of many nations. Talking about a man called Abraham. 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 Now you must understand that Abraham... He had gone through a lot of things. He had gone through a lot of stuff. And uh, the Bible says they had stayed with the wife for so many years waiting for the promises of God. Waiting for the promises of God. And the Bible says it was not coming to pass. It was not coming to pass. But the Bible says regardless what Abraham was going through and his wife, the Bible says... The Bible says they were not weak in faith. They were not what? Weak in faith. They were not weak in faith. They were not weak in faith. Now, what is faith? Write it down. What is faith? What is faith? Faith is an assurance that God is going to do it. Faith is an assurance that God is going to do it. It's knowing the ability of God or knowing the potential of God. What is faith? Faith is total belief, total confidence in God. The Bible says even when Abraham was under the years, even when the womb of his wife, Sarai, was dead. I want you to capture the word dead. Dead. There was no possibility for Sarai to give birth because 
she had overlapped her menopause. So it was impossible for her to give birth. According to the law of biology, it is impossible for a woman to give birth at 90 years. So she was stricken in age. But the Bible says that even when they were stricken in age, the Bible says they were not weak in faith. They were not weak in faith. They were not weak in faith. Now, the Bible says in the book of Hebrews, the Bible says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for and, and, and what? And the evidence. Now, faith, now, now faith, now faith, now faith, now faith, now faith. It is a substance. Let us break the word substance, which means that our faith is tangible. Faith is is tangible because a substance is something that you can touch. It has got shape. So the Bible says, now faith. Now faith. Now faith is the substance. So faith, it is not just a mere thing or mere words. Faith is an object. You must understand when we deal with the issues of faith, we are dealing with objects that are seen, that, are, that we can touch, that we can feel, and that we can see. So it is not just mere words, or it is not just you speaking that you have faith. You must reach a level where faith must materialize itself. It must become an object. It must become tangible. It must become an object that you are able to see with your eyes. So the Bible says, now faith, now faith, now faith, which means there is a difference between hope and faith. Now the Bible says, now faith is a substance of things hoped for. Now faith operates in the now. Faith operates in the now. Hope operates tomorrow. So it is possible for you to have hope in your future. But it is another thing to know what your future carries tomorrow. There are most of you, you have a hope. In a hope, there is, there is a little bit of uh, uh, doubt. You don't know whether it's going to happen. You don't know what you are going to eat. But when we deal with the fundamental principle of faith, is simply hand, uh, simply knowing the ability of God that he is going to do it. Even when you don't have a womb, he's going to do it. Even when you don't have a bank account, he's going to do it. Even when things are not all right with you, he's going to make a way where there seems to be no way. So God does not want you to have hope in him. God wants you to have faith in him. In another way, faith is the elder brother of hope. In another way, where there is faith, there is hope for tomorrow. So faith, 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 faith is a substance that operates in the now. But you must understand that that's not the description of faith. Let me give you another point. What is faith? Faith is when the supernatural has intercourse with the physical. Faith is when the supernatural has intercourse with the physical. It's when the supernatural takes place in the physical that is faith. So in another way, what I'm trying to say is that there is no faith without works. Whenever we are talking about faith, whenever we are talking about faith, we want to see your works. Where there is faith, there are proofs. Where there is faith, there are miracles. Where there is faith, there is result. So if you say you have faith, then show me your result of your faith. So what is faith? Faith is when the supernatural has intercourse with the what? With the physical. It's, it's when Heaven kisses earth. When 
heaven kisses earth. And the earth responds. Responds to the supernatural. That is what we call faith. Hundred percent confidence in God. Knowing that he can do it. Knowing that he can bless you. Even when you, are, you have been married seven times. Seven times and you were divorced. Faith is the ability to know, the, to know what God can do. You know that now he has the ability. He can do it. Even though I am a finished product. Even when I am 70 years old. Even when I am, I am, uh, there is no man to marry me. Every time when you look at yourself on the mirror, you are not what people say you are. When you look at yourself in the mirror, which is the word of God, faith grows. And you begin to believe in the one that has written things about you in the logos. So faith is 100% confidence in God. No shadow of doubt. No shadow of doubt. No, 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 no doubt. When God was calling me in ministry, I had no money. I had no money. People did not believe in me. But I believed in God. Because the one who called me, the one who started this great work in me, he's going to watch it until the day of salvation. My duty it is to believe in him 100% and knowing his ability. Am I talking to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody here? Give half half to your neighbor say, I'm being blessed. Come on, give half half to your neighbor tell them, I'm being blessed. Is having faith. 100% confidence. Now the Bible says, now faith. Now faith. Which means the faith operates in the now. And the hope operates tomorrow. I have hope that my life will change tomorrow and I don't know whether the hope that I have will cause me to move into my tomorrow. In another way, I hope that you will not disappoint me. I am hoping not having confidence in you. There is, there, is, there is a certain percentage of doubt. In another way, I leave room for disappointment. God does not want you to believe, to, 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 to hope in him. God wants you to believe, to have faith in him. Now, I will show you that faith operates in the now. Which means that spiritually, God does not operate tomorrow. Let me take it deeper. God does not operate tomorrow. He's not the God of tomorrow. He's not the God of tomorrow. He's a God of the now. Which means whatever you are believing him or whatever you are hoping him to do tomorrow. I know you have been hoping that you will get married tomorrow. You have been hoping that you will have your miracle card tomorrow. But you must understand that when we deal with faith, we are not dealing in the tomorrow. We are dealing in the now. Even those things that were supposed to happen tomorrow, they can still happen even now. So, faith operates in the now. We believe God. We believe God and I believe God. That as you are here, as I'm ministering to you, the word of God is giving you miracles. Not tomorrow. He's giving you right now. Because I operate not with hope. I operate with faith. I believe things even when the doctor has said that you are remaining with two minutes for you to live on the face of the earth. I 
believe and I have faith that as the word of God is coming, healing and the resurrection, he is going to come right now. Am I talking to somebody here? When the, air, when the, when the heaven touches the earth, the earth responds. That is faith. Remember, that is not a de description of faith. The Bible says, now faith. And that just shows you a type of a faith. Read Hebrews chapter 11. Oh, shadow, seda. Mash. La, su, shadiga. Now, let's go there. Let's go there. Praise God. Hebrews. You there? Verse number one. One, two, three, go. Now faith is a substance of things hoped for, for the evidence. Okay, okay, okay. The substance, okay. The substance, number one. Number two, the evidence. Okay, what is the evidence? It is the proof that this thing, it is real. It is a proof that this thing is real. It is not just mere words. It is not just speaking that God is going to bless you and they don't come to happen. No. We have a proof. We have a proof of the word of God that the one who has spoken it by faith, it will happen according to his word. Now faith is a substance, which means it is tangible. You can touch it. You can drive it. You can see it. Not just being tangible, but the Bible says it is also a proof. We have the proof now of those things that we have seen in the Word. Let's read it. Let's read it. The proof of things not seen. Uh -huh. The proof of things not seen. Which means whatever you cannot see, it does not mean it's not there. Oh, you're not getting this. Whatever you cannot see, it does not mean it is not there. The car that you don't see now, that does not mean there is no car. Which means spiritually, there is already an evidence that the God has written about you. That you have a car, you are a millionaire, you are a married woman, you are a healed woman. But if you come physically, you don't see it. That does not mean it is not there. The Bible says, for it is what? The evidence of things not seen. <laughs> it is the evidence of things not seen. So if we cannot see our cars, that does not mean we don't have car. You are not getting this. You are not getting this. You are not getting this. To be poor, to be poor, it is not, it's not the lack of cars. I might, not have, I might not have a car. That does not make me to be poor. The fact that you cannot see it, it does not mean it is not there. Have you ever seen oxygen? You have never seen oxygen. But how do you know it is there? You breathe it. It is an evidence. We have the evidence of the word of God. God has said something about your life. That is your evidence. Whew. And the evidence of things not seen. Have you ever, have you ever seen yourself? Have you ever seen yourself to be a multi millionaire? And if you look at yourself physically, there are no millions. That does not mean you are not a millionaire. Are you listening to me here? Have you ever seen yourself like you are married? That does not mean you are not married. 
Remember, at first you saw it. It was, a, it was what? Tangible. It is an object. You saw it. And now, you know it. Evidence. Evidence. Now, you know it. That this thing, it is real. It's going to work like this. I'm going to be a millionaire. I'm going to get married. Even though it is not there. I just believe. I just know it. I know it that God is going to bless you. I personally know it that God is going to bless you. The evidence. Whenever the devil wants to persecute you, he cannot persecute you without the verse of evidence. Whenever he wants to arrest you, they'll first look for evidence. Evidence. We, we must arrest this person. But what is the evidence? What has he done? And they'll begin to produce. This man did this. This man did this. There is an evidence in the spirit that Jesus Christ provided all in the spirit. That the God of Abraham, the God of our father by faith has blessed us with all spiritual gifts. So, you know, you know it, it amazes me. It amazes me to see a blessed child, a blessed child to look at herself in the physical and call herself as a poor woman. No, I'm poor. No, I'm sick. Jesus completed the whole work in the spirit. He did everything. And now we have the evidence of our blessings. And now faith is a substance of things hoped for. And the evidence of things not seen. Oh my God. Do you see? Do you see? Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Open the eyes of faith. Begin to see what God has done already. You are so much concentrating on the devil. You know, we have a lot of people who are devil-minded. 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 Even when a cup falls in your house, you'll be like, you devil, come out. We have a lot of people who are devil-minded. You must understand. You must understand why Jesus died for you. The work was completed. The devil was already defeated. Your miracle was already accomplished. Your healing was already released. Your blessing was already released. It is now you now to have an evidence. Even when the enemy comes, he says, no, no, you are not a blessed woman. You look at him and say, no, 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 not me, not me, not, 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 not me. You are mistaken. You have the evidence of the word of God. You have read in the scripture. You are not what people say you are. You are what God says you are. I am a chosen generation. I'm a royal priesthood. I am anointed. Ah, my God. I am a blessed. I am a blessed man. I am a blessed woman. My coming in is blessed. And my going out is blessed. My children are blessed. My eyes are blessed. My church is blessed. My loins are blessed. My hands are blessed. My tongue is blessed. Am I talking to somebody here? So when it comes to you, he begins to bring out some certain images about poverty. Tell him that, no, 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 not for me. Not for me. I am not poor. Ah, oh my God. The Bible says he was made poor so that we may be rich. Am I talking to somebody here? Tell him, I am not poor. Tell him, I am not poor. He was made, not that he was poor. Not that he was poor. He was just made. The man was rich. He accepted the poverty for you to have an evidence of success. It's very shocking to see people saying, no, I don't have money. I don't have money. That's the reason you need to have positive confession. Glory be to God. 
Now, the Bible says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Which means, even if you cannot see it, it exists. It's living. One day, I entered my room. I looked at through the wall. And the Lord says, what seest thou? And I said, Lord, I see nothing. The Lord says, open the eyes of your faith. And when I looked, I saw a man who was so tall, very tall. And he said, I have come as an angel of guidance to come and deliver good news to you. And after delivering the good news, the man disappeared. And the Lord says, starting from today, see beyond. You don't see it. <laughs> you don't see in the physical. Continue pushing by the eyes of faith. Let's, let's, let's go to verse number two. The Bible says, For by faith, for by it the elders obtain a good report. Which means, wherever you must obtain any good report, the report of success, healing, deliverance, it is on the basis of what you see and what you know. Remember that faith is not just a mere word, but it is tangible. So if you cannot see it, you cannot have it. And if you don't know it, you cannot... You, 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 the, the devil will come and tell you other things. So, you having evidence which is knowledge. Knowledge of what he has already done. Do you know that I don't believe in miracles? I know now. That when I enter the service, he would do it. And I position myself at a certain angle where he is standing, where my faith has grown up. And I, when I look, I don't see anything. I don't see any. You know, there are some times where I enter the church. I'm praying for people. I'm, and it's like the environment is very calm. That does not mean God is not there. Even when the environment is very calm, even when there is nothing, no reaction, that does not mean God is not in the place. Sometimes the place may be very silent, yet God is moving. What do you see? And what do you know? The Bible says, so by faith, by it, the elders obtained a good report. Do you want a good report in your business? Do you want a good report in your marriage? Do you want a good report in your ministry? Have faith in God. Believe him. Have 100% confidence that the one who has started a good work in you shall watch it until the day of accomplishment. Jesus. Let's go. Let's go. Verse number two. Let's read together. One, two, three, go. Hey, come on. Let's read it on top of our voices. One, two, three, go. For by faith, the elders obtained a good report. Now, listen, 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 listen. A good report is not wished. It's obtained, which means it is it is unto good works that we obtain a good report. So we don't wish to have a good report. Most of you, you are wishing to have a good report in your business, but you don't work towards it. So faith, it is a work. Faith is work. <laughs> faith, it is work. After working it out, working it out day and night, in the following morning, the same work will begin to produce result. That is good report. The Bible says, for by it the elders obtain a good report through faith, we understand through faith, we understand that the, the world we are framed by the word of God so that things which are seen. So by faith we understand how God created what? The world with what? With things that are not seen. 
He had no capital. No capital. He used the word of faith. Say the word of faith. Turn about the word of faith. Turn about the word of faith. God, he, he did not have a capital. He did not have a bank account. I wonder a lot of people, they want to start business. They begin to complain. No, 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 no. I don't have money. You know, my account is book balance. Do you know what you do? Get your ATM card. Put it down. Say, you ATM card, I prophesy. Miracle money right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, my God. You enter the fridge. You enter the fridge. You find that the fridge, there is no food. Do you know what you do? You work it out. You work it out. You no longer work for God. You work it out now. You perform a miracle. The Bible says to others we are given the gift of working out miracles. Which means God does not perform miracles. Ooh. God does not perform miracles. It is now you. You are a miracle performer. I'm a miracle performer. He wants a miracle. You don't wish for a miracle. You perform it. Where there is no miracle, you make a way where there seems to be no way. By what? By the word of faith. The Bible says, then you shall speak to this mountain. Word of faith. Word of faith. So God created the world that was not there. Using the word of faith. Of a womb, touch yourself. You, 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 my body, I command you. Look, 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 look. If you read Romans chapter 4, the Bible says, Then they did not consider the deadness of the womb, eh? the deadness of the womb. And the Bible said they did not stagger. In what? In faith. But believed in the promises. They believed in the promises of God. When Elisha was informed that the child had died, the Bible says Elisha went. Elisha went, the Bible says, they laid the child flat. And the Bible says, Elisha the prophet, the living. Faith is living. Right. Faith is living. Faith is living. It's not an existence. It does not exist. It is living. It is a living proof. It's a proof that it is there. Even scientists, even now, you, even now, I can prove to you that it is a living. Even for you to sit on that chair, you had the confidence, 100% confidence that the chair will carry you. True or false? True or false? True or false? Even when you're coming to church, you put on that Brazilian hair, you knew that you would look very beautiful. You had the confidence, you had the faith in the Brazilian hair. What more Jehovah? What more God? Faith is living. Even for you, even for you to travel using the air bus, that is a work of faith. It's a work of faith. You have, you have put your whole faith in the Airbus that it will cause you to reach your destination. It amazes me, people. They, they don't believe in God. They don't believe in God, yet they believe in Airbuses. They believe in their cars. You even believe in your food. That as you eat it, it will not give you stomach problems. That's true. That's true. Now, 
the Bible says, then this child died, and the Bible says, they laid the child flat. And the Bible says, Elisha went and they slept flat, hand to hand, mouth to mouth, leg to leg. Wait. Elisha, being a living person, went and they slept on the dead child. They did not consider the deadness of the womb. Never even staggered on the promises of God. <laughs> they believed that the one who has said it, surely he will bring it to pass. And the Bible says Elisha went and they slept on, the, on top of the dead child. Mouth to mouth. Which means that Elisha had was alive, was alive. And uh, faith is activated by a spoken word. In another way, your tongue, your tongue has positive and negative. <laughs> your tongue has positive and negative. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 18, the Bible says the power of what? The power of what? Hey, hey, the power of what? The power of death and the life, which means your tongue has got the positive and the negative. There is one part which speaks life. And there's another part which speaks death. And the Bible says, then Elisha had to sleep on the dead child mouth to mouth. Whenever, which means God wants you to sleep on your dead situations. You're not hearing it. You're, you're, you're too spiritual. God wants you to sleep on your dead situations because he understands and he knows that inside you there is the word of faith there is a life. There is the power to bring life. And the Bible says, then Elisha had to breathe in the word of faith. And the Bible says, that which was dead came back to life. Which means that God wants you every time to sleep on dead things. So that you can resurrect them. By what? By your faith. Which means your faith can cause things to come to life. Right this point. My faith can cause things to come to life. Which means it is not God who brings things to life. It is now me by my faith. I know I don't have a house. I know I don't have a car. But I have faith. Faith it is a vehicle that can be able to make me, uh, 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 it can drive me to my destination. I wonder a lot of people, they are afraid to sleep on their dead situation. Number one, the Bible says, he put his mouth close to the mouth of the dead child. And the Bible says he breathed in. Which means, prophetically, God does not give future. God does not give future. God does not give miracle. It is you who is a miracle worker. You are not getting this. You are a miracle worker. That's the reason in the book of Genesis, the Bible says, then he blessed them. Then he said, go and multiply. Eh? Go and multiply. Which means, if you are, you are married, if you are married, you have your wife who has the dead womb. The moment you sleep with her, that dead womb must come back to life. Because of the what? The word of faith. There is such much power inside you that you don't know. You don't know. You just don't know. 
My son died. My son died, Angel. The first day when we were entering in this building, I was doing groundbreaking. After a wonderful, powerful, powerful service, I reached home. I found that the boy has died. And I said, devil, I will show you. Sometimes God does not want you to cry. There are most of you, you cry for things that you already have. You are crying for things that you already have. You are crying for the key that you already have. So when I reached, I found that the boy has died. We tried to shake him. The boy was not breathing. We took him to the doctor. The doctor said, ah, he's already gone. I said, what? I went outside. I went outside. I took five stone. I said, the Lord, you spoke to me. When I was in grade 10, you said, I will give you a son and he shall be a prophet. He shall be a prophet. So, Lord, perform your miracle. And then, the Lord, he says, you want me to perform a miracle? He said, I don't. He said, I don't. I said, you are the one. You will go there. I will not. He said, I will show you what to do. Then you will. That is written in. Now, the Bible is the type of a faith. It is, if I use another kind of a faith, it will not happen right there. That's the reason most of you, you pray, oh God, I need a miracle. When God is, sees you, he says you don't. Now, faith. But another power, there will be. Not tomorrow. you to receive the now miracle. That's the reason when I say receive. It takes now faith. Now faith is like like your miracles. From a miracle, he could look at the kind of a faith that a person has. And according to the measure of faith, Jesus will perform a miracle suiting the kind of a faith. Let's look at another faith. Now faith. Now faith. Now faith. Now faith. We are done with now faith. Hmm. Now faith. Now faith. We are done with now faith. Eh? Huh? Let's look at common faith. Common, common faith. Titus chapter 1 verse 4. Titus chapter 1 verse 4. Common faith. Common faith. Common faith. Common faith. Titus chapter 1 verse 4. Titus. 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 Chapter 1 verse 4. Let's read it. Are you there? Are you there? Hey, can you shout? Are you there? Titus chapter 1 verse number 4. The Bible says, are you there? I want us to read it together. There are some of you who don't know how to read. I pray that God must help you. Let's read it. One, two, three, go. To Titus, my own son, after the common faith, Grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. Now, to Titus, my own son, after the common faith. Lift your right hand and say the common faith. What is the common faith? Write it down. The common faith, this is the kind of faith that we were all saved. This is a kind of faith that all of us, we were saved using this faith. It is not like really a, a, a great faith. It is, it is a faith that God uses to call people to Christ. 
It is a faith that God uses to make people to be born again. So that kind of a faith, it is called a common faith. It is found on each and every believer. Every believer, whether in America, whether in New York, all of them, they are believers. Why? By common faith. God used the common faith to win them. So your salvation, your salvation and my salvation, there is no difference. That's the reason in the things of the spirit, there is no one who is great. In the things of the spirit, there is no one who is great. Everyone stands according to his position. That's the reason the Bible says to some their hands, to some their eyes, to some their legs. We are the body of Christ that has got different parts. So we are doing according to our position. So if your friend is a singer, allow him to sing. If your friend is a prophet, allow him to prophesy. Don't prophesy if you are not a prophet, you will profess a lie. So this common faith, it is the faith that God used to win us back to him. So your salvation is not, is not a God kind of salvation. It's not God then. Or it's not a diamond kind of salvation. Even Chinese, all of them, they use this kind of a faith. They receive the same Christ using the common faith. Shout common faith. Say common faith. Say common faith. That's the reason. There are most of you. They can. They cannot see any difference. In your family, you have the common faith. That's the reason. Your life is not changing. You still have this common. It's found everywhere. It's found everywhere. That's the reason. Even what you are doing, even what you are doing, it's not new. It's common. It's found on every place. Marketplaces is found. It's just common. People, they have been seeing it. That's the reason a lot of men of God, they are outdated because they are so much with the common faith. They have been preaching same messages, prophesying the same. God wants new things. Common faith. Common faith. Say common faith. Say common faith. Come on, shout common faith. Shout it again. Shout it again. Let's look at another faith. Weak faith. Weak faith. Romans chapter 4, verse 19. I think we read that. The Bible says, Abraham not being weak in what? In faith. So that kind of a faith is called what? Weak faith. It is faith, but it is weak. There are most of you, you have weak faith. It is faith, but it is weak. It cannot take you to your destination. You need a booster. Tell me, do you have weak faith? Shake your neighbor. Do you have a weak faith? Ask your neighbor, do you have a weak faith? Is it faith? Is it faith? I'm asking you, is it faith? Huh? It's faith, but it's what? It's weak. It cannot stand. It cannot stand to the test of time. That's the reason most of your businesses, they have a weak faith. It can never stand. You start today, tomorrow you fall. It is weak. It is faith, but it is weak. It cannot cause you to stand. That's the reason most of you, your healing cannot be completed because you have a weak faith. Stand up. Stand up. When I tell you that you are healed, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. When I say you are healed, do you know that you are healed? Give me the microphone. Do you know you are healed? Yes, I do. Huh? Yes, I do. But if your faith is weak, the moment you leave this place, the healing remains. Have you ever seen people who lose miracles? They had money. They had money. And just from nowhere, they lose it. It's because of weak faith. That kind of a faith is like a weak hand or a paralyzed hand. We have a lot of people with paralyzed faith. 
It is faith, but it's paralyzed. It, everything looks well, but there is no power in it. <laughs> Tell them, but in your faith, there is no power. That's the reason you can't cast out a demon. The demon will cast you out. Yes, I'm telling you this. That's the reason most of you, you can't cast out a demon. Because your faith, it is, it is, it is too little. That's the reason the Bible says, before binding, before binding the strong man, before entering the strong man's house, the first thing that you will do, it is to bind him. But before you bind him, you first look at his stature. Because if the demon that you are about to cast, it is beyond your faith, it will cast you out. That's the reason you find a man of God, a man of God is casting a demon, a demon slaps the man of God. Slaps a man of God. Slaps a man of God. The man of God is saying, out, 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 Lack of faith. Your faith, it is too little to deliver. You can't deliver. You can't deliver. That's the reason. If, look, if they have employed you in a company, then you can't deliver. They will fire you. That's the reason most of you, you are fired because know that you are not qualified. Your faith, it is too little. Your qualifications is too little. About weak faith, weak faith, weak faith. Tell about do you have weak faith? Tell about neighbor. What kind of faith? Hey, look at your neighbor. Neighbor, what kind of faith do you have? Do you have common faith? Do you have now faith? Or do you have weak faith? You need you 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 need to have a multi billion contract, then you have weak faith. You will have it, you will have it, but along the way, you will lose it. That's the reason most of you, you lost marriages, you lost contracts, you had it at first, but your faith could not sustain or hold your miracle. The devil came and took it away because your, your faith, it was like a leprous or, or somebody who has paralysis. You know somebody who has paralysis? Okay, paralysis is a, is, is a condition where the hand looks normal, but be but inside is weak. So your hand is 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 gonna be looking normal, but when we tell you lift it, be like, you know, there it is. Hey, hey, do you know there it is? Huh? 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 It's so much eaten in vendor. In vendor. And the and the and the and the keseten. Keseten. If you don't know Derere, I'm speaking in tongues. Ask the Holy Spirit. He will give you an interpretation. So you have faith, but the faith is very weak. So that kind of a faith is called weak faith. It cannot take you to your destination. You cannot reach there. You continue to be stopping. You continue to be tired. That's the reason most of you, you are, you are too weak. You are too weak to pray. You are too weak to come to church. You are too weak to give. You are too weak even to work in church. You are too weak even to sing. You are too weak even to serve a prophet. You have faith, but the faith cannot cause you to reach your destination fully. That's the reason, you know, there are some certain people, they can't save God. They can't save God because they have weak faith. That's the reason any pastor who has got weak faith, he will have a weak church. Weak pastor, weak church. Weak church, weak members. Weak members, weak finances. Weak everything, you'll be weak. 
whenever John Cena you, you are behaving like you don't know John Cena you. okay the reason why I love uh, uh, lestering and boxing is because I wanted to be a boxer I wanted to be a boxer I love boxing because you know it's a prophetic game it gives you accuracy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, look. Whenever two people, they are fighting. For you to win your opponent, you must be able to recognize his weakest point. And the weakest point in boxing it's not the head. It is the ribs. That's the reason when they are fighting, they are fighting, you will see them, they are covering their ribs. So when one throws the punch, remember that the ribs are open. It's the weakest point. And uh, that's where the enemy is interested. So weak faith it is a kind of a faith that will allow the devil to be beating you every day, losing every day. That's the reason most of you, you have been going, you, 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 you are qualified, you are qualified, you go and apply for employment, you go and apply for employment, they accept you, they accept you. As they are about to promote you, they go to your, to your what? Uh, 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 to your CVs, to your CVs. They begin to scrutinize mistakes, mistakes. They say, no, you are not qualified, go back. That kind of a faith is a weak faith. It's a weak faith. Turn about weak faith. Turn about weak faith. That's the reason. Even the, if the press team, they have weak faith, you'll be able to see. As they'll be singing, people will be dozing. That kind of a faith is like, is like, is, is spreading the spirit of slumbering. Whereby everyone just, when they hear the press team singing, they just want to sleep. Have you ever seen such kind of a church? Eh? Huh? The, moment, the moment they begin to sing, everyone begins to doze. A pastor begins to preach. It's like, it's like church members, they come with blank, blankets. That kind of a faith is called what? Weak faith. He's a weak pastor. Tell your neighbor, what kind of faith do you have? Ask about what kind of a faith do you have? Let's look at this kind of a faith. Another one, great faith. Great faith. Matthew chapter 8, verse 8. Matthew chapter 8, verse 8 to number 10. Great faith. Great faith. Great faith. Matthew chapter 8, verse 8 to 10. This kind of a faith called great faith is a faith that does not give up. Does not give up. Are you there? Matthew chapter 8. Verse number eight. Verse eight. Matthew eight, verse eight to ten. Are you there? Yes, Papa. The Bible says, The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou wouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. For I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I said to this man, go, and he goeth. And to another, come, and he cometh. And to my servants, to my servants, do this, and he, he doeth it. Verse number 10, the Bible said, then Jesus had it. He marveled and said to him, that he said to, he, to them that followed, Verily I say unto 
unto you, I have not found so great faith. I have not found so great faith, not in Israel. And I say unto you, that many shall come forth to the east and to the west and shall sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness. There, there shall be weeping and garnishing of, of teeth. Praise God. Now, look, look. The Bible says, then Jesus was so much astonished. He marveled. Because this man, the centurion man, the Bible says, this man was a man of authority. Jesus was prepared to go to his house. And the Bible says, the man began to plead with Jesus. said, no, 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 no. You don't need even to come, to come to my house. Do you know there are some certain people in the church, they will need me every time to lay a hand on them, to lay my legs on them, to sit on them. That's a kind of faith. When, when I'm not prayed for them, you will hear be like, ah, the church was not powerful. I'm telling you, this centurion man, he did not need even the laying of hand for his servant. In fact, it was not him who was sick. It was his servant at home. He had gone to see Jesus for the sake of the servant. And the Bible said Jesus was prepared to go and see the servant. And the centurion man said, Master, you are not even worthy. I, 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 I'm not even worthy to bring you under my roof. Only speak a word and my servant will be made whole. That's the reason the prophetic ministry is based on that scripture. You know, there are some certain people, when I don't pray for them, I remember one day somebody entered my office. <laughs> Azal word. Somebody entered my office and was like, Papa, you know what? Here, I want a powerful prayer. Make concoction. I said, What do you mean? I said, Concoction. Concoction. Make concoction. I said, it is done. <laughs> she looked at me, she was like, Papa, so just like that. Just, just like that. I said, it is done. It is what? It is done. She expected me to do gymnastics. She expected me to take anointing oil, anointing water, you know, uh, my sticker, and mix to all of them. And uh, <laughs> I don't know, but I, I just spoke. I said, it is done. I could see on her face that she was very disappointed. That's the reason. Look, look, look. That's the reason when we come in church, there are some they will need to see the prophet. There are some they don't need to see the prophet. That's the reason if you don't have this kind of a faith called the great faith, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you will miss a lot of things. Because every time you will need to see the Messiah. There is a time where the Messiah is not there. Remember that this kind of a faith, it is a faith that does not give up. Even when the Messiah is not there. I was in Zambia. I had a chair. I had a chair. I had a chair. And it was a wonderful, wonderful chair. So every time I sit there, I did not know that the men members had terrorized the chair. Every time they could pick cushions. Within one year, the whole chair, it was vandalism. It finished. And I entered the church one day. I asked, who did this? Members were very quiet. Very quiet. Great. 
that faith, it is a kind of a faith even when you have not seen the prophet. The anointing of the prophet is everywhere. Ah, you listen to what I'm going to say here. As I'm walking like this, you just step where I am stepping and say, I possess the anointing. Right away, you receive a miracle. That is great faith. You don't need to wait for the laying of hand. You don't need to, see, you, you don't need to wait to see the prophet. Are you listening to me here? Amen. Even when there's no prophet, you can still receive. What is needed is this kind of a faith that does not give up. The protocol said you cannot see the Messiah. You said, no, 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 no. I will see the Messiah. Amen. This was the kind of a faith that the woman with an issue of blood had. Jesus had the protocol. Can I have my protocol? Come here. Oh, my protocol, come here. The bigger ones, the bigger ones. Come on, can I have three this side? Maso shadiga, la roshadiga, zano shadiga, la roshadiga, maso shasada. Come, maso shadiga, iso shadiga sudada, makro shadiga, malaro shadis, maso shadi. La rocha di Zosha Sa Ma Sa da 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 La Chobreniso 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 Ma Kia do Shadiga Ma Siga La Ko Shadi Shaparo Shadiga Marush Idi Akusha Balanoskove I receive Messia Messia Messiah so menosh adia. Me so fi rich kuva. Me so faradika. She de hetu shi. Maya tu shi dia harush asha. She menosh kuva. Jesus Christo. I receive. Kele lush. Kele lush. Me shi akush adika su. I receive. Me shi asuve ene vermu she mi ha. I receive it. No she dia harakis osu. I receive. Kaso prakatush. I receive. Je <laughs> La kush abaso blat meas. Miki ya suva la haso kubrani ya suve relish. Di krahas ki ya tush. Now, imagine. She di ya suvrani kofahatish. This woman, she wants to see the Messiah. And now, there are these disciples around Jesus. And this woman, Shalenosh Kobelania Faradus Ubehati Shiaha, two of years. For two of years, blood is woozing. This is the same issue. Blood is woozing, woozing. And the Bible says that this woman, she suffered in the hands of physicians. She went to doctors, but the doctors could not find the source or the solution to her problem. And the Bible says, because of this terrible situation, the Bible says that then men began to call that woman with an issue of blood. It was no longer a problem. It became an issue. There are most of you, you don't have problems. You have issues. They have been there for a long time. And now they are growing up with you. You say, this is my problem. This is the way I was born. This is the way I am. You have accepted the situation. This woman with an issue of blood, she had accepted the situation. And when the situation became worse, the Bible says one day she stood up. She spoke to herself. He said, All, if only I can touch, if I, if I can come closely. Amen. If I can come closely Amen. to the Messiah, 
Amen. I know my issue will be settled. Amen. Now you must understand that Jesus has big men. There is Peter. Peter is carrying a sword. And everybody who wants to touch Jesus, Peter, he will remove the sword. Am I talking to somebody here? Amen. And the Bible says, this woman begin to scream out, begin to scream out, begin to scream for help. Begin to stop her, begin to stop her. Come, come, come. Try to come to me. This woman, she was trying to come close to Jesus. She was trying to come close to Jesus. And there was Peter trying to stop her. And the Bible says she had to pass to bypass Peter until she touched the hem of his garment. And the Bible says Jesus, Jesus he Jesus, had Jesus. to stop. And he said, Pharisee. who has touched me? Pharisee. I prophesy to you. You shall touch Jesus. I receive it by your faith. I receive it. You shall touch Jesus. I receive it by your faith. I receive it. Your situation will change. I receive it by your faith. I receive it. The Bible said that Jesus stopped. He said, Who has touched me? Yes. There was a lot of people touching Jesus. Uh -huh. Even Peter touched Jesus. Yes. Even Thomas touched Jesus. Uh -huh. But it was not just a normal touch. Yes. This woman with an issue of blood, uh -huh. she touched Jesus with such kind of a great faith uh -huh. that even the power had to left Jesus. Yes. Power. And the Bible says, This woman. I receive. It is your prophecy. I receive. Then this woman got healed. Jesus, I receive. And the Bible says, Jesus said, Woman, go home for your faith. I received. I receive. So God does not heal people. It is your faith that heals you. Yes. Your faith has healed you. Amen. I receive. Now, Thank look, you, Jesus. These guys. Were busy stopping Jesus, trying to cover up Jesus. But the woman said, No, 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 no. I need to push Peter. Amen. I need to push Peter. I'll Amen. push Thomas. I'll push, I'll push everyone around Jesus for me to see him. Great faith. God bless you. Thank you. Put it on. Wow. Hey. I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm working. You are not on the program to be blessed. You know what you do? You just come, you throw yourself and say, Papa, my situation must change. I have been in this church for quite a long time. Amen. I want my situation to change Amen. now. I don't need it to change tomorrow. I yes. need it now. Amen. Listen, let me tell you, we have a lot of normal people. That's the reason people that are close to prophets must be very crazy. great faith. The prophet is bypassing you. He's bypassing you. You don't just leave him. He said, my Jesus, it is an opportunity. This opportunity might, might not come in a lifetime. I will even touch his shoes. I don't need him even to speak a word. Amen. Even his shoe can speak something. Amen. You don't just receive when Jesus opens up the mouth. This woman, she did not receive because Jesus prophesied to her. She received because she touched him. Amen. Great faith. Eh? People are saying you will never make it. You will never make it. You say, I know. I know what God says about me. Amen. I know who I am. Amen. Is finishing. I am to Zalia Zuba. I am not finishing. Yes. He's just starting with me. Yes. Hey, when people say it is over, that's when God takes over. Yes. And when God takes over your story, it is over. I receive it. Let's look at another faith. Let me give you two. And then we vamos. We vamos. Oof. This woman, she was a woman of faith. The eyes of a prophet can cause you to receive. Let's look at it. 
Genuine faith. Genuine faith. Genuine faith. If you don't write, you are a suspect. It's like Boko Haram has sent you to Holy Ghost Embassy. Because you can't sit under this anointing and without right unless they have sent you. Hallelujah. Genuine faith. This kind of a faith does not permit deception. Deception. It's genuine, sincere, faithful. It does not allow deception. That's the reason. There are most of you, when I look at you, my faith itself, I've got different kind of faith. I personally know that this one, he has got a deceptive faith. He's a liar. Now, liar. Genuine faith is a kind of a faith that does not settle with deception. What is deception? Deception is anything that is not genuine. Do you know if I am not genuine in your spirit and your faith will bear witness? That's the reason the Bible says test all spirits. Test all spirits if they are from God. So how do you test? You test by faith. Your faith bears witness with the one that is standing in front of you. Say genuine faith. Second Timothy chapter 1 verse 5. Hurry up. Second Timothy. Second Timothy chapter 1 verse 5. Are you there? This kind of a faith is genuine. It cannot be deceived. That's the reason. People, they can't deceive me. I know each and every person that I deal with. Because my faith, my faith is a genuine faith. And anything that is not genuine around me, I easily pick. That's the reason I pick even in the prophetic very easy. One of the things that God gave me anyone who is not genuine around me, whenever they begin to do something so crazy, they begin to run away from me. Because the faith is genuine. It cannot, it can, it does not allow deception. Someone cannot lie to me. That's the When I look at you like this, you are speaking. Hey, how many children do you have? I'm asking this man, how many children do you have? He said, no, I've got two. I said, you, you are a liar. What about that one in Toyando? I've ever, you have ever seen me doing that? Huh? I'll be like, you, how many children do you have? He says, no, I've got one. I said, no. You have got four. What about the Sibo? What about this one? I'll be like, ah, Papa, how do you know? Because the kind of a faith that I have, when I look at you, when I come close to you, it is able to tell me whether what you are saying it is genuine. So I'll be able to evaluate or I'll be able to put you on an equilibrium to check whether your words are genuine or fake. There'll be, there'll be some people who'll be like, ah, Papa, you know me, I'll do this. Papa, I say, Malaya. Naya. This, look, this is a kind of a faith you must have if you are a woman. You must have that kind of a faith. When a man comes, evaluate him. You, you, you think it's a joke? Before you say yes, put him, put him on the scale. Evaluate his words using the scale of the genuine faith. Because it will be able to show you the reading, whether this man is genuine or fake. You don't say yes. Have you heard? This is an advice for you. Eh? Those days you could say yes. He comes two days. Ah, yes, I love you. 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 But now, when he says I love you, you are not moved. You tell him that he give me four days. Give me four days. 
you take his words, you put it on, 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 on the uh, 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 genuine faith. And the genuine faith will begin to show you the readings. Say, so, mm, is there truth in what he's saying? Mm, there's a percentage of lies. This man mm, is a liar. Mm, he's saying that he's having the companies. But look at the shoe. The shoe is saluting heaven. Because there are some sellers, I'm telling you, they are, <laughs> they are men and they are men. Terrible. They are men and there's men. Terrible. There is men and there's men. Men, when they appear, they talk too much. You see goats, goats, they, they make noise. Goats, they make noise. Even when a woman, they approach a woman, you will see noise. They'll begin to promise, no, I will buy you a car. Yet a man is on book palace. So that kind of a faith, it will be able to, it will be able to show you the kind of a person that you are dealing with, whether, whether, whether he's speaking things that are truthful. That's the reason when I go for business meetings, business meetings, this is the anointing. This is the faith I use. We enter the meeting with my, 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 my son. I'll ask them, how was the meeting? I said, no, Papa, this and that. I said, you know, when I looked at that man, ah, that man, hey, he's a chief. Chief of all liars. He gives a certificate. Let's read that scripture. Let's read. Hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. One, two, three, go. Verse number one. Verse number five. Are you there? Huh? One, two, three, go. I am reminded of your sincerity faith. Which first lived in your grandmother, Louis, in your mother, Eunice, and I am persuaded now lives in you also. So, this kind of a faith, it was in the grandmother of who? No. Timothy. Timothy had the grandmother. The grandmother, she had this. Uh, 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 sincere faith and it was imparted also to Eunice the mother and also to Timoth that's the reason most if I look at you some of you you look like your mother if you see a son who lies look at his father he's a perpetual liar continuous liar anointed liar Look, this kind of a faith was imparted even in Timoth. Because the grandmother, she, was, she had a genuine faith. Even the mother, the genuine faith, even Timoth also. That's the reason most of you, you are still struggling with the spirit of lying. Look at your mother. I remember one day. <laughs> a certain man, he had two children. So, he was owing. So one day this man, the owner of the money came at the house and then he told his children, he said, when this man come, tell him that I am not there. Tell him that I am not there. So the man came. And then the children, they were busy arguing. This other one was saying, you, daddy is not there. Daddy is not there. This other one said, you, Daddy said in the house that he, when this man comes, we should tell him that he's, <laughs> he's not there. This kind of a faith is imparted. It's imparted in your children. That's the reason if you are a woman who is full of lies, very soon look at your children. They'll become worse. 
So it is what? A genuine faith. He does not allow deception. That's the reason. Look, look. When I'm doing deliverance, when I say, come out! There will be some demons. The demon will behave like it has gone. And when I, looked at it, when I look at it very well, my faith will tell me that this demon has not left. And I'll be able to note out what kind of a demon is in the woman and they call it by name. And the moment I call it by name, you see the demon begin to manifest. Genuine faith. And that's kind of a faith that you need to have, especially if you're a deliverance worker. A deliverance worker. You need to know what kind of spirits you are dealing with. There are some certain spirits. I remember one day, I'm, I'm doing deliverance, and this demon is a lying spirit. You know lying spirits? They can call the name of anyone. Ah, you know, I'm doing this. No, I even used uh, this. So, when you are a deliverance worker, you are casting out a demon, which is a lying spirit. You don't listen to, her, to it, because it can confuse you. I hear a lot of that's the reason. There, are, there is only one part in the Bible where Jesus asked a demon, who are you? Who are you? And after asking the demon, who are you? The Bible says he casted it out. So that does not mean you must not ask the demon, but it must not be the basis of your information. Because they are lying spirits. The moment you begin to hear from them, they will lie to you. They will tell you that your mother, she's a witch. Like my mother, she's a witch. So, the best of your information must not be demons. It must be the Holy Spirit when you are doing deliverance. So, this kind of a faith is genuine. It does not allow deception. Let's go to number last. This kind of a faith is called active faith. Active faith. Active faith. James chapter 2, verse 14 to 26. James chapter 2 verse 14. This kind of a faith is a faith that goes into action. Or it is an acting faith. An acting faith. An acting faith. It is very active. It is not a dormant faith. It is a faith that you are able to see. When I tell you that I've got faith, I can show you now. active faith. Are you there? Let's read it. Let's read verse 14. Verse 14 on top of our voices. One, two, three, go. What does it profit, my brethren, if someone says he has faith but does not have works? Can faith save him? Let's go to verse 15. One, two, three, go. If, if a, a brother, brother or sister, sister is naked, naked and destitute of daily food, daily food and one, one of, of you says to them, depart, depart in peace, peace. be warm and, warm and filled. filled, but you do not give them the things which are needed for the body. Okay, 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 okay. The main concentration, the main concentration is with verse, verse, verse 14. And verse 15. Now the Bible says, the Bible says, what does it profit my brethren if someone says he has faith but it does not have works? Which means faith is backed with works. And this kind of a faith is called what? Active faith. It is a faith that produces result. That's the reason most of you, when I look at you, okay, do you pray? Hey, hey, do you pray? Hey, lift up your hands. Do you pray? Huh? Hey, do you pray? Lift up your hands if you pray. Huh? Can I ask you a question? Show me what you pray for. Show me what you pray for. You have been praying for a car. Show me. Where is the car? The more you pray for your husband, the more they continue disappointing you. Now, this kind of a faith called active faith 
it is a faith that produces a result or it is a working faith. For example, when I tell you, look, look, when I tell you that this Sunday, this Sunday, we are going to have a lot of people. A lot of people. What I'm doing, I, I'm not speaking based on the genuine faith. I'm speaking on the active faith. So my faith, I put my faith on a working, on a working level where it begins to touch people. It begins to connect to people. And it begins to win souls. Are you listening? So it is not just you. It is not just you saying, I have faith. Your faith must be able to produce a result. Okay. When I tell you that this Sunday, we will have many people here and we will have a lot of sick people. It's because spiritually, I was working on that. Do you know, before you came here, I was working on you. I was working on you. I knew exactly problem that you have. be prom prophesying. Let me stand here. At least when I stand here, it's better. No, there. Ah, too many temptation. I'm telling you. You know, every time when I stand close to you, it's like I want to prophesy. To prophesy because this is my work. It is faith with works. Eh? How can you say that you you are a prophet, you can't prophesy. They tell you prophesy, you hammer this side. Faith without works. So, if you want to grow your church, let me show you a secret. This is a secret that most of you don't know. When you want to grow the church, the church does not grow because of members. Even tomorrow, I can decide to pack this place, all of it. All of it, tomorrow. Packing it, putting pack. And when you come, you'll be like, where are these people coming from? Because I was doing something that you don't know. I know how to, I can cause all of you here, all of you here, to bring all your relatives on Sunday. I will come to you, prophesy your mother, prophesy your uncles, prophesy when they died, prophesy your relatives, and I will say, this Sunday, bring them. Power. <coughs> prophesy all your girlfriends, all your girlfriends, and I will <laughs> tell you that this Sunday, you must call them, I want to see them. Oh <laughs> Even your ex bosses prophesy all of them. That's what I me. When I started this church, you can ask. You can ask. When I just meet you like this, I will call you. I will start from, I will call it family three. I will start with your mother. Mention your mother's name. And I mention only those that are only those that are alive. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> only those that are alive, I mention. Mention, mention. And I'll, ma I'll make sure that I'll mention 30 of your family members. And then this Sunday, I'll tell you that this Sunday, they must come. If they don't come, power. Okay, okay. The question is, okay, the question is, okay, the question is, how has this man known the whole entire lineage of my family? And even when I tell you that bring your family, where will you refuse from? Where? When I mention, okay, okay, ex-boyfriend. I say bring him this side. Even if you lost the number. So, Bali Azuga. Are you listening? Amen. So, you see, we work towards Having a mega change. Like what I am doing here. I'm in my 40 days prayer and fasting. 
in my 40 days prayer fasting. I am working towards something. I am working towards something. So it's not just, you know, every Sunday when I come here, you see me prophesy, you see me doing gymnastics, and you say, oh, this man is very powerful. My brother, <laughs> when I'm alone, ask even my wife. Even to eat is a problem. You, you eat from January to December. So we work towards having something. You want to have a mega change? Discipline yourself. Discipline your body. So one of the secrets to grow the change, I want to show you. The church does not grow because of the members. That's the reason you discover, you discover most people, you discover every Sunday, I said, bring somebody, bring somebody. To some, they think, you know, it is just, you know, troubling them, troubling them. Because I work towards something. But you, you don't have it. You don't have this, this active faith. You can't work towards somebody to come to church. You can't, you can't invite somebody. You just come to church alone because you don't have this kind of a faith. So this Saturday, I am sending all my evangelists. I'm sending you. I want to, I'm, I'm putting you on test. On active faith. Active faith. I want to see, I want you to bring 10 souls. If your faith is active or dead, I will see. Lift up your hands, say Father. Father. Give me active faith. Give me active faith. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Say so starting from today. Starting from today. I receive. I receive. Active faith. Active faith. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. This kind of a faith. It's active. Do you know? Do you know? When, when I begin to preach, you just want to look at me. You, you just want to hear more. It is active. It's active. You don't sleep. Go to another church. Go to another church. They will bless you with a blanket. <laughs> Are you listening? It's active. Shh. Look at me. Look at me, Ola. Look at me. What do you see in me? Do you know how many eyes you have? the reason you see me most of the time when I'm prophesying. When I'm prophesying. I love the church to be active. You, you have seen that? I want the church. You will see me when I begin to prophesy because I prophesy very fast. The moment you just bring me down, the, the prophetic word has gone. So when I, when I call her, I say, you, I see this, I see that. I, as I'm prophesying, you are answering also. The moment you begin to answer like you know you are a general manager right away my attention it has been shifted to another person. That's the reason most of you, you miss prophecies. It's because you are not active. So the prophet is active but he's, he's leading a church that is not active. You just come on Sunday. You are not active. You are not active in church. You just come and sit. You warm all the chairs here. Now, God does not want you now to sit. God wants you now to stand up and begin to preach. Find something to do in the church. If it is to clean, clean the church. If it is to join the media, join the media. Amen. If it is to join the choir, join the choir. Amen. Step, eh? I want you to take seven. God said, Go back. Faith without works. Shh. I, you know, I look at a lot of people in, in this.
this church. They just come on Sunday. are you doing? Who have you ever brought to trust you? Even your family, they don't even believe in you. Because you have never invited them to, to Jesus Christ. This, if you say that you have this active faith, that's a reason. My heart it marries so much when I see many being added to God. That's my job. My, most of my, my joy is not in prophecy. It's not. In fact, prophecy stresses me. I'm telling you. Prophecy stresses me. When I'm preaching to you now, I'm very happy. Once you just begin to say, prophesy, prophesy. Ah, yeah. <laughs> because, okay, I, I want to show you. Stand up. In a prophetic, to preach to you is very easy. But for me to download, to detect, to know what you are going through, your name, when you were born, it takes my mind, my spirit, my soul, my body, the Holy Spirit to be involved. For me to speak to this man. So it is a highest level of concentration. That's the reason you see when I begin to speak, when I begin to speak, the moment just my attention has been shifted, it has, it has already gone. That's the reason most of you, the moment I bypass you, I, I studied the prophecy and then I bypass you, don't think that I'll prophesy to you again. It's already gone. Because you need to know the kind of a prophet you are dealing with. Maybe he has, he's very active. I'm very active. I'm very energetic. Very energetic. So if I begin to speak to this man, this man is behaving like, you know, he's behaving like a doctor. He's trying to, he's trying to, 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 to check, to check whether what I'm talking, this, this is your problem. This is your problem. When I am prophesying to you, some of you, you are trying to check. Is this true? Eh, eh. Is, is it true? So there is a battle in your mind. That's a is true. Prophesy. Because prophecy, it is not just mentioning those things that you know. There are things that I'll mention that even you, you don't know. Are you listening? Eh? Uh -huh. Sit. Now, say active. Like this man. Come here. They're very active. This one. Very active. There are some people, they are not active. They will see a prophet. They will see a prophet. They will see a mistake on the on the altar. They will just leave it. They are not active. More grace. They will see a mistake on the stage. You will see even 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 a paper. You can't even just speak it. You'll be like, even Shh. Active. One day, you know what? Shh. I was here. I was here. I was here. The, 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 the mixer was giving us problem. I had to move myself. People who are not active, they always wait for the prophet. They always wait for the prophet. Ah, Papa is coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. You wait for Papa. Where is your faith? Where is your faith? Where is your faith? Before, before a prophet comes on the stage, you must be, your faith must be able to check the environment. Access the environment. That's the reason you see me. When I come, when I come on the stage, the first thing that I do, my faith is able to access my environment. Before I minister to you, before I minister to you, I'll first begin to put order. Most of you, you have seen. I'll begin to put order. You sit here. You sit here. But people don't have active faith. They cannot buy in in the spirit of a prophet. Every time they would want 
to be told, you must do this, you must do this, you must do this. They don't have active faith. They cannot buy in. That's the reason most people, they fail to operate with the prophet. Because let me tell you, prophets, they are very crazy. What I do, what I do here, you do it. You get sick. First, your body will be burning for two months. I can tell you, I've never, I've, uh, there's no day that I've ministered and said, ah, here it's burning. No. My body now, you know, is in, in the blood. But for people to buy in, in the spirit of a prophet, it is very hard because they are not active. They just wait for the prophet. Every time they just wait for the prophet. Even to pray, even to pray. They, somebody cannot just pray on himself. He's waiting for the prophet. You are lacking active faith. No, I just want the prophet to come and pray for me. To come and pray for me. Hey, the anointing is all over. In fact, even when the prophet dies, the church will continue. The church is not this. The church is you. Active faith. Find something to do. Don't just be idle in the church. Don't just be, don't give yourself the work of gossiping. Because some of them, they have employed themselves. And monthly they receive salary. They will gossip their pastor. Gossip their pastor. No, no, look at him. You know, he's going, look at his head. Look at his head. No, I don't like his head. You know, I, I just don't like his head. I know. Mm, that man, I just don't like. I don't know. I, 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 just, I, I just don't know. don't like me. Even me, I don't like him. Look. Find something to do. Pastors, find something to do. Be active in church. Never miss any Sunday service. I can tell you from the day I got born again, I have never missed any Sunday service. And I want to preach till the day the Lord takes me. I will preach. If it is to vomit blood, I vomit on the altar until he takes me. That's how dedicated I am. That's the reason you see every week I'll be in church. In church. In church. How many times do you miss Sunday services? How many times do you miss midweek services? How many times do you miss do you miss do you miss services? And count them. And you don't feel anything. You are not even noting that your spiritual life is going down and down. You, are, you can't even pray. You can't even fast. Be active. Some people, they stop saving. Say, ah, you know me. I can't save. You know, I'm too big. I'm too big. I'm too big. Find something to do. You want a child? Join the cleaning team. As you are cleaning the house of God, God is cleaning your womb. You want a job. You want a job you have been working for. You have been looking for this job for quite a long time. Continue. Find something to do in the church. If it is to carry chairs. If it is to carry chairs. Carry chairs. If it is to clean the altar. Clean the altar. And you will see God. He will bless you. Years ago when I wanted a miracle. I went to a certain man of God. I took a seat. A seat, and after taking the seat to this man of God, I said, Man of God, what can I do in the church? You know what the man of God said? He said, Every Sunday you'll be carrying my Bible. Ha! I said, Glory be to God. Yes. This is an opportunity. I was carrying the Bible of this. Ask Apostle Peter, I will tell you. I was carrying the Bible of this man of God. Every Sunday, every Sunday, until the spirit that was in him, on him, it jumped on me. Wow! <laughs> I see some son. He said, "You know, I want to become, I want to become like you, Papa. You can't even carry my Bible. You want to become like me for where? I want your the double portion of your spirit. You, what will I remain with?" You, the 
say, why not? Double portion of my spirit. You can't even say. You can't even say. You can't even say. Even if when there's a mistake on me. Ah, yeah. Even if there's a mistake on me, you'll be like, ah, he's not my father. Oh, that one. Oh, no, no, no. Mara, 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 Holy Ghost fire. He's not my father. You have ever denied your father that he was practicing witchcraft? Even if you met him, he was practicing witchcraft. Eh? In fact, you encouraged him. You said, Papa, continue. Did you go and speak? No. He did not speak. He's your father. He's your father. You continue serving him. Active faith. I have been serving God. Look, I have been. I, I, personally, I personally believe that's the reason God has blessed me. Yes. Because the service that I have, the passion I have for the Lord and for the people. That's why when God sees me, even when I'm not qualified, God is saying, ah, you, you are ready. You are ready. Amen. I'll send you. I served in church for 20 years without payment. No payment. No one was paying me. I was, I was, I was staying at church. I was staying at church for five years. I was staying at church in a one room, very dark. I was using candle, studying. That's where I did even my Bible school. In a one room. Yet my faith was active. When you see me, you will not even know that I'm even having a problem. But you, when you have a problem, you want everyone. You want everyone to know. That's the reason God can't use you. Your faith is not active. Your faith is not active. Who can serve the Lord when there is a problem in the house? Who can serve the Lord when there is no food on the table? Who can serve the Lord when there's no fuel in the car? Yet you are strong. You know, there are sometimes I come on the stage on an empty stomach, but when I preach, ha! not that I did not have food, but I was on the program. Be active. Find something. God told Cornelius, he said, Cornelius, your offering and your giving has reached the throne of God as a memorial. Can God remember you in the time of problem? I will never, I will never suffer. My faith is active. I always find myself in the church. I always serve the Lord faithfully, faithfully. And then he will remember me. May God remember you tonight. May God remember you tonight. I receive. Look, when you are faithful, when you are faithful, and when your faith is active, God cannot, cannot disappoint you. I've seen how God has been faithful to me. Very faithful. Stand up. In me. Is it orange or what? Is it orange or what? Active. How are you? Can you speak up? Be active. I'm not fine. I know God. Speak up. What is your problem? Um, it's my husband. It's my husband. Speak like a like a strong woman. Is my husband man of God? Speak like a strong woman. Is my husband man of God? Yes, this is the way you speak. But is my husband man of God? <laughs> there is a court case. There is a court case on you that is coming. Have you heard? No, man of God. 
I said there is a court case yes. that is coming. Have you heard? I didn't hear. Go deeper, man of God. Professor Papa. Look, what I mean is that there is a court case coming for you. Do something, Papa. Okay. Yes. And this court case may end up making you lose your husband. Do something, Papa. Right now, right now, as I'm talking to you, your husband is in the hands of another woman. Do something, Papa. Look, come here. Stand there. How many children do you have? Three. Three children? Yes. From one father or what? Yes, from one father. From the same one? Yes. You will need deliverance. Deliver me, men of God. I saw a big demon De in the form of a spiritual husband. Deliver me, men of God. Do you know about the spiritual husband? Uh, yes, I hear. Hey, do you know about the spiritual husband? Yes, men of God. Huh? Yes, men of God. I hear people saying, I never felt this so on me. Huh? I heard people used to say, but I never thought this on me. It's on you, eh? Yes. You never thought. This is yes. what I'm telling you now. It's on you. This spiritual husband is your anger. Yes. And this spiritual husband, every time when you are with your husband, with your husband, you just hate him. Yes. From nowhere. Yes. Yes. Not that it's he has true. done anything. You just it's hate, true, him, of hate God. him. Hate him. It's true, man of God. You, you are supposed to die on the second child. On the second child, when you are pregnant, you are supposed to die on the second child. Remember, you are supposed to go through an operation. It was very hard for you to give birth. Yes. Huh? Yes, it's true, man of God. Huh? Yes. Is it true? Yes. What happened? I was having a uh, level pain for a long time. One, two, three, five days. Yes. Now, when a prophet is prophesying to you, he mentions something. You must confirm right there. Yes, man. Not to keep quiet. Not to keep quiet. He was born in June. Do you know Kamukehelo? Who? Kamukehelo. Kamukehelo. No. no. Mm -hmm. Ask your husband. Ask him about Kamukehelo. 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 Huh? I will ask him, man of God. Ask him about Kamukehelo. Okay, man of God. I see a big problem. The Lord says I must save your marriage. Yes. Okay. Yes, man of now, God. Now, I'm going to pray for you. The Lord is going to set you free. Yes, man of God. And the spirit of anger I is going to leave you. Yes, man of God. But your spiritual life must be very strong. You must find something to do. Find a burning church. Otherwise, this demon will continue visiting you. Not only that, not only that, the Lord says you need healing now. You need healing because you have got a back problem. Yes, man a of back God. problem. Yes, man and of God. every time when it's zero two, it's like you feel like something moving on your back. Yes, man huh? of God. It's true, man of Who God. did you come with here? Come with my me. cousin. Huh? My cousin. Go, call your cousin. Eh? Is this your cousin or what? Mm. Eh? It's my cousin. Who is from Toyando? Who is from Toyando? <coughs> hey, who is from Toyando? Patrick. Who is Patrick? What is happening? You are Patrick. Hey. What is happening between you and Patrick? It's my boyfriend. Pow! Hey. Do you know that Patrick is in another relationship? Yes. Eh? Hey? Yes, man. Do you know that Patrick is in another relationship? Yes, man. Patrick God. told you that he's in a relationship. Yes, But man you continued. Huh? Why? Eh? Can you leave Patrick? Yes, man of eh? God. Yes, man of God. Leave Patrick. I saw. Where's your child? At home, limp up. Eh? Limp up. Where is the father of the child? Limp up. Eh? Limp up. This is the second thing. I see you becoming pregnant. I see you becoming pregnant and this man leaving, Patrick leaving. And Patrick, remember that three weeks ago you were meeting with Patrick? Yes, man of eh? God. Yes, man of you God. You met with Patrick. Yes, eh? man of God. Eh? There was a chemistry that happened. Hey. Is it true what I'm saying? It's true. Eh? It's true, man of God. Yes, this is what I'm telling you. Leave Patrick. Even you told her. 
Yes, huh? man of God. It's you true, told her about Patrick. Even she knows that Patrick. Is it true what I'm saying? Yes, it's true, man of God. She knows that Patrick has this uh, this girl. Yes, man of eh? God. Should I mention that? He name? once called him the girl. The girl once called him one day. The girl called her. Yes. Eh? She was even saying, "Leave my boyfriend." Yes, man of God. But uh, she said, "I will not leave him." <laughs> Professor. Yes. I will not leave him. I love Patrick. <laughs> you know when you eat banana. <laughs> you know monkey, monkey, go taste banana. <laughs> At the apple. They don't go back. <laughs> they are one more. Hallelujah. I did not say anything. I did not say anything. I just said monkey and banana. You are very stubborn, you. Do something, man of God. Come here. You are too stubborn. You are too stubborn. You were supposed to get married a long time. Eh? In your life, you have had seven men. Deliver seven. Me. From your secondary school. Till now, count. That's the reason your life is becoming worse and worse and worse and worse. Can I give you an advice? Oh, you want me to mention the name of the woman? No. The one Patrick called. No. Power. Jesus, come. Leave her. Leave her. Jesus, go! Leave her! Don't hold the deliverance. Jesus, go! She's free. Oh. Come here. Go! Go, go! Come on! Come out! Come out! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Come out! Everything on your back. Go! Go, 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 go! 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 Jesus, she's free. Oh! Set up. Stand up. There is a demon. Can I speak to you? Can you speak up? Can I speak to you? Yes. There is a demonic masquerade over your face. And this demonic masquerade brings a lot of rejection in your children. When I look at you, it's like there is also a problem in the area of marriage. Is it true? Yes, Papa. Huh? Yes. Where is your husband? Shh. Where is your husband? In house. Where is your husband? In Cosmo. Where is your husband? Are you staying together? Yes. But there's a big problem here. Because the problem that I'm seeing is like there's a lot of misunderstanding. Because your husband is like he's not doing well financially. Who is from Zimbabwe? It's me. Professor! Take. Come here. There's a spiritual husband in a... Break. Break! Can you leave the deliverance? Jesus name, she's free now. Power. Stand up. How are you? I'm not okay, Papa. Eh? I'm not okay. Eh? I'm not okay. You're not okay? Yes, please prophesy to me. Who is firing you? Uh, so far, I don't know, Papa. Where are you working? Um, in St. J. J. Crow. Be careful. Yes, there's I a retrenchment coming. I see somebody yes. coming to fire you, removing you out from employment. Deliver me, Papa. The problem, you have been losing a lot of employment. A lot. This has been going for three years. Yes. Three years you have That's been true, Papa. from different, different, different That's employment. True, Papa. Please is it true? Me. Yes, it is true. You were supposed to become a manager of this company. But I see whereby people around you, they are jealous of you. That's true, Papa. Because who is in the accounting department? Accounting department. I'm in a payroll department. Uh, in accounting department is like money. Yes, yes, eh? yes. That's why you are working. Yes. Be very careful because I see people, it's like they are going to steal some money. It will be on Thursday. Mm -hmm. On Thursday. And then they will say that it is you. Oh my the God. Lord says, I must pray for protection for you. Please, not only me, protection, not only protection. The Lord says, 
There is a miracle that is coming in the area of marriage. I receive. Because there is a lot of disappointment in the area of marriage that mm. you have had. Yes. Because when I look at where is the father of your child? Uh, my husband is at home. He's at home. Yes. But before this man, yes. before this man, yes. there was another one. Yes, it's true, Papa. And it's true. Happened? The first boyfriend uh, was separated. Uh -huh. yes. But he was like staying together. Yes, it's true, Papa. It's true. Professor. Now, come here. The Lord is going to bless you. There is this car, 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 car. Yes, You, you Papa. applied for something, like a car. I applied for, no, not for a car now. I applied to go to Canada. Uh -uh. Mm. This is a car. Remember, Do you know Mercedes? Google, Papa. Do you know Mercedes-Benz? No. Do you know Mercedes-Benz? Yes, I know Mercedes-Benz, eh? yes. Eh? Google, Papa. Do you know that after 19 weeks from now, Yes, Papa. I receive. Nineteen weeks. weeks. Four and twelve, sixteen. Uh, five months and two five weeks. Five months from now. Yes. Turn around five times. Wow. Yes. Oh. Whatever you have ever applied. Oh, I receive. It is released. I receive. Don't go to Canada. Don't. I want to, Papa. Do you know why? Yeah, I don't know. Eh? I don't know. Tell me, please. Go in the month of September. Yes. Okay? Yes. Go in the month of September. Yes. I know it's for work, 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 work. work yes, purposes. it's true. Okay? Yes. Go in September. September, September December. There's a lot of grace for you. I receive it, you Papa. You are not going to have a lot of problem in terms of finding papers. Oh, I receive. Have you heard me? I receive. Now, your husband is a very good man. You must keep him. He is. Eh? He is. You, you talk. Keep yes. him. Okay. Yes, Papa. Don't force him. Don't force him. He's a very good man. I receive. Okay. I receive. Go. Jesus name. Come in. Go. Where's your mother? Shh. Um. Uh, Can you keep quiet? Where's your she's mother? She's at home. Huh? She's at home. She's, she's yes. at home. Yes. But she's now I believe she's at work. I believe she's at work. Do you have somebody who is having a name of Ara? No, not ah. that I remember, Papa. Go deeper, Papa. You are from where? I'm from Pumalanga, Tahakral. Huh? Pumalanga. Pumalanga. Yes, but I reside in Alberton. Write this name. Write Dagada. Yes. That will be the beginning of your favor. I receive, I receive, I receive. Can I speak to you, Mama? Can you sit, 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 sit. If I've not got for you, please sit. I love when I'm prophesying people to sit down. Can I speak to you? <laughs> yes. Huh? Yes. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. I'm not fine. <laughs> What's happened with the operation? Nothing. What's moving in your womb? I don't know. Eh? I don't know. Come. Mar. 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 Zimbabwe. Yes. Where's your husband? He's at home. He's from where? Congo. Congo. Mm. Congo. Yes. Congo. You are from where? Congo. Congo. Yes. Ask her. What's her name? Ask her. Irene Mari. <laughs> Professor. You see what I did, eh? So. You see the prophecy? I'm prophesying to her, but I'm picking. I'm picking for her. So, some of you, Mare, Mare, Mare. That's a little Mare, Mare. I don't know. Baby. I receive. Where's your baby? My baby. Eh? Your baby. I've got seven kids. Seven, yeah. Yes. Who is the first one?
Congratulations. Thank you. For this one. Thank you, man of God. Thank you. Professor. Do you know Elizabeth? No. Elizabeth and go. 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 No. Go deeper, man of God. No. Eh? No. Your girlfriend's my mom. I'm Abu. Professor! <laughs> Prophetic sharp shooter! Huh? Oh. <laughs> eh? I'm confused. You're confused, eh? <laughs> yes. Prophetic confusion, though. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> you know, I know a lot of things, eh? I'm just trying to play with you. Ibrahim, okay. What I say, I can't take rice. <laughs> a rice. That's the reason if you're a prophet, you're not educated. You can't represent God. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is not just about the anointing. You must be educated. You must be educated. Mashasu Mando Shadigada. We are going to knock off plates today. Masha Sada. Power. Come, bring it here. Turn it. Masu Shadiga. Where is it? Daradosha. Mas. Just stand right there. Yes. Where are you from? Where are you from exactly? I'm from Congo. Ah, where, here in South Africa, where do you stay? Uh, in Dunfen Valley. Dunfen Valley. Mm. Very good. Look at me. I will, as I'm looking at you, I'll be drawing. Okay, Papa.
Masuki Ustaz Pada Zuno Abadi Masuki Zuno Abadi I'm in the trucking business, Baba Pow! So I take this drink, I give it to you I receive it In the name of Jesus I receive it In the name of Jesus I receive it Thank you, Jesus I receive it Go in the truck business I receive, Baba I'll do it so, shipping. Yes. Go into shipping. I receive. The Lord will bless you. I receive, Papa. You know, the Lord has blessed your first mom a lot. Amen. You know, you have struggled a lot in your family. Amen. When I look at you, I see a businesswoman. Amen. I see a businesswoman that used to do well and everything. Amen. I scrambled. It's true. Papa. Is it true? It's true. It has scrambled. And now you are struggling in life. Amen. Even your children are not yet settled. Yes. They are not yet settled. Yes. There are some of them who are not even married. Yes. Eh? Yes. They are not even married. Yes. But the Lord says, because you have met me tonight, Amen. the Lord says, Amen. your children, Amen. they are guaranteed for settlement. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. I receive. Amen. The Lord loves you. Amen. You are a praying woman. Amen. You are a praying woman. Amen. Where are you from exactly? Which place are you from exactly? Here in South Africa. In Congo. Uh, Lubumbash. What did I say? What's your name? Jacqueline. Huh? Jacqueline. Huh? Jacqueline. Lupe to Umba. Huh? Lupe to Umba. Your name is Bali. What's the meaning of your name? Lupe. The other one. Umba. That one is from my my husband. Huh? Yeah. Your name? Mm. Your name is Baroness. That's right. Your name? Your name that is Baroness. That's the reason it was very hard for you to But I pray for you Amen. that financially Amen. things will change. I, I see shops. I, I see international businesses. I I In the name of Jesus, I, I see God opening doors for you. I In Jesus' name. I Break! Go! There's a spirit. That spirit from your family, it leaves you. Thank you, Jesus. You are healed. You are healed. One, two, three, four, five days from now, go and test your negative. I receive. Thank you, Jesus. You are what? You are completely, completely. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hands. Say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hands. Say, Father. Father. As I appear this Sunday. As I appear this Sunday. My life. My life. Will never be the same again. Will never be the same again. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lift your hand and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put your two hands for Jesus. All those that are watching us, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord lift you. May the Lord protect you tonight. May you sleep like a baby. And may you wake up like a lion. No more demonic nightmares. In the name of Jesus. You are protected. Angelic visitation. Angelic dreams. In the name of Jesus. Zero three. Anoint yourself. And the Lord shall protect you. Shalom, shalom. Put your two hands for Jesus.